me, 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 me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 26 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a roof. Now, when I'm talking about a roof, I'm talking about a pointy edge roof, a dome style roof, and uh, let's get on into it and let's check it out. All right, so I'm going to make a simple room. There we go. You can make it whatever size you want. Side view. Let me bump these out four and four, and I'll make it even on each side. All right, I make it that big. All right, cool. So, in fact, let me shrink it down. Eight, eight. All right, cool. All right, so here's our room. We're gonna hollow this out. Go to selection. Go to CSG, and hollow. All right. All right, let me change up this texture because I want something different. Uh, I guess we could do this. No. Let me uh, pick out one of my favorites. Get rid of this. And here we go. Stone, granite. All right. Let me switch up the floor. There we go. All right, so now I have my basic room and I'm going to select the top part. Now, let's say you want to make a, a pointy style roof as if it was for a house. So we're going to select the roof. You know, you want to be even on each side. So right now I'm in the middle. I'm going to press X and I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Hold shift, press center. In fact, let me make sure you guys know how to do that. So I'm going to press X, and when you do that, if you click on the line after you press X, it's going to put a dot. So press X, that's one dot, and if you put another dot right across from it, the second one, it's going to show you where it's going to make a slice. So that's where I want it. Hold Shift, press Enter to cut it, and hit Escape. All right, now we're going to select this piece. I'm going to press E on the keyboard. That stands for edge. And I'm going to move that edge up. So I'm just going to left click on it and drag it up. Hit escape. Now I'm going to select the other side. Hit E on the keyboard. Move this piece up. And hit escape. And if we step out of it, we can see that it's pointy like a regular house roof. I don't know what the term is, but we're going to go with that. All right, so let's say you want to hollow this out because right now it's solid. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it on grid four. I'm going to select one side of the roof, select this one, and I'm going to go over to selection, CSG, and hollow. Click on that, and there it is. Now I can go inside of it and let me delete this top part. Hit escape or hit backspace and it'll delete it. Select this piece, delete that, select this one. Now remember this one is hollow so we have to do the same thing. Selection, CSG, and hollow. Now remember it's going to hollow it out to whatever your grid is. So if you would have had it on Let's say grid four, the boxes go smaller and it'll hollow it out to that length or that kind of thickness. But me, I'm going to leave it on grid eight, number four. And I already pressed hollow. So let me delete these pieces. And as you can see, it's a traditional house roof. All right, that's one way of doing a roof. Now, let's get rid of this, hit escape, and it does leave extra pieces, so you have to make sure you delete those. Delete that, delete that, I'm going to delete this over here, and this one. Now we're going to make a different type of roof. So I'm going to drag out a box right above it, covering the whole thing. There we 
go. All right, let me move that over. Now it's even. Okay, so now we have a box right above our roof, flush on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to patch and I'm gonna go over to primitives and I'm gonna go over to cone. Click on that. As you can see, it turned it into something weird. It looks like a spaceship. All right, we should have done this from a top angle. So I'm gonna hold control and press Z. Do it from a top angle. Now I'm going back to patch, primitives, and cone. There we go. And as you can see, it made it into a dome shape. Now what I can do is, let's say if you wanted this a little bit more rounded, press V on the keyboard. That'll stand for verts. Grab this vert. Just drag over it. It'll turn blue. Hold Alt and start moving it down. Try to keep it even. And let's see. I'll match it up to that vert. There we go. Hit escape. And as you can see, now we have a dome. But if you look at it, it's not inverted. Or maybe we can thicken this and have the texture on both sides. So I'm going to select it. Hold control, press shift, press T. That'll bring up the thicken patch tool. Now we're going to leave it on 8 and with seams, press OK and bow. Now we have the texture on both sides and it looks pretty cool. So let me go up here. You can see it right there. Now that's amazing, people. Look at that. Let me zoom it up. That's a cool looking dome. All right. So let's uh let's fix these little openings on the sides so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag out a box well if anything i'm going to drag out a brush along the sides like that just right in the middle of it so if i would move it over that's what it looks like so I'll move it on the inside i'm going to go from a side view i'm going to bring it down and I'm going to go over to patch and I'm going to go to curve and simple curve patch. Leave it on three and three. Hit OK. There we go. Now, if I press V on the keyboard, you can see it has the verts on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the ends of this one. So select that end. Hold Alt. Drag it over. basically to this side right here and I'm going to grab this vert and I'm going to bring it down until it matches. If you bring it down to the end, it should match up perfectly. There we go. All right. So let's take a look at where it's at. Okay. Now let's see. Let me select well actually let me select this piece and go back to four and there we go now it's perfect actually right I think right there will be fine all right so now we're gonna bring up the cap tool so I think it's when you hold control and shift and press C or control and C Shift C? Yeah, it's Shift C. All right, so now we're going to look for one that matches what we want to do. So I'm thinking it's this one right over here, inverted bevel. Select that one. Press OK. All right, there we go. So now we just have to bring it down. That's a little too high. So let me get out of the verts. Select it and let me bump it down. Well, let me use the arrow. There we go. And let me bump it down just another one. There we go. And 
is it lined up? Let's select this and deselect everything else. Oh, actually, this is too high up. So I'm going to select that piece and the inner piece and start moving it down. Hit escape. And let me grab this one up here and bump it down. Whoa. There we go. It's a bitch without the camera. Actually, I think that's perfect. Now, why is it showing that opening? Okay, it has to go further down. Oh, it's not inverted. Hold control and press I. There we go. I was bringing it down too far. Bump it back up. Let's use the arrow. So now let's see how it lined up. Now this didn't line up the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to hold Ctrl and Z and go back. Let's go back to when we had it. There it goes. Press V. There's the verts. Now, let me see where this vert is. There we go. It's right there. All right. And I'm going to move it back. Right there. And grab this vert and move it back right there. So now, let me hit Control and I to invert it again. Shift I no. Oh, I have to do the cap tool. So shift and C, and we're gonna do this one again. Press OK. There we go. And as you can see, it's lined up perfectly. All right, cool. Hit Escape. And now let me let me retexture this. Let me give it that other texture. Granite. There we go. Now I can copy this. Hit space park. Hold shift. Press D. And move it over. There we go. Now it's lined up perfect. And let me select both of them. Hit space park. Hold shift. Press D. And let's move it over on this side. There we go. And actually select the wrong one. But we could use this one. Let's move it down. Well, let's invert it. Control and I. There you go. Let's move it down. There we go. And let's just change the texture. There we go. And there you have it. Now we have a dome. So if I would look up, it has a nice design. The ends are closed up and it looks perfect. So that's a different way of making a roof. Like let's say if you would select this part and you would go for, let's say, glass or let's say window. And let me get out of favorites. Now you can pick one of these windows and it'll also look pretty cool. Click on that. Nope. Click on this one. Oh, that's crazy. Windows on top like that. And you can also go over to Surface Inspector. Natural. Look at that. That's amazing. And there's basically, it's up to you. You know, play around with it. See what kind of cool designs you can get. And, you know, it's, it's endless on what you can do. So that's a cool way of doing a roof. Let me um, texture these insides. There we go. And let me go back to my textures. Let me go over to usage. 
on the views without the window part. Let me go over to my favorites. Well, let me take it off a clip. It's not gonna work. There we go. All right, cool. Check out that window. That looks hot. Well, window, that looks, that's the ceiling. It's like a big giant chandelier. And uh, let's see what else we can put in here. Let's check out this one. Wow, whoa, and that's see-through, that's cool. We'll go to Surface Inspector. We'll go to Natural. Wow. Wow. Check that out. Look at that ceiling. That is amazing. So, um, you know, if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That is cool. Peace.